In this demonstration of Grasp the Sparrow's Tail, I'm going to describe each shift of weight with the relevant technique being used at the time. You will be able to see in writing the description of the core movements that are also taking place. We begin by shifting back to the right leg and then we turn around twisting the waist using shoulder strike. We shift back with split followed by elbow strike which brings us to empty stance. We step out with the right heel using press and we ward off beginning with pluck followed by ward off to complete the movement. We twist the waist to the right using shoulder strike. And then we flex the right hip initiating roll back. After the weight is shifted, we transition to press using split to circle the left arm back, followed by elbow strike to bring the hand to the wrist. We shift forward using press, and when the weight shift is finished, we use push to spread the arms open. We then use push in the reverse direction to push the weight back and down. And then we reverse yet again to push forward and up. To transition to grasp the sparrow's tail left, we sink back using elbow strike then twist the waist using shoulder strike. We collect into empty stance using split followed by elbow strike. We step out on the right heel using press. We shift forward using pluck followed by ward off. Twist the waist using shoulder strike. Shift back using roll back. At the end of the weight shift, we transition to press using split followed by elbow strike. Then we shift forward using press. At the completion of press, we open the arms using push forward. Then we push back and down. And then we push up and forwards. That completes two cycles of grasp the sparrow's tail done in slow motion. We will now see Grass the Sparrow's tail at normal speed.